I'm Simon McKeever, the Chief Executive of the Irish Exporters Association and I was speaking at the event here this morning around Brexit, what we're doing to help companies, what we're doing to help our members. We're a national organisation so we've been up and down the country. We run a number of different events. We have an SME event called the National Export Hub and they have been helping to educate small businesses and bring them through the kind of the whole export journey. So we have these two separate groups, one focused on SMEs and uh, export competence and then one focused on the supply chain and we're bringing them all around the country. So I was speaking this morning at the event here in the Aviva, talking about that, talking about some of the lobbying that we do. The Irish Exporters Association has been front and foremost uh, at Brexit. Um, we were, I think, out before anybody else was out, um, calling it out um, and calling it as it needs to be. So I think the food industry in Ireland, the agri-food industry in Ireland is going to be very severely affected by Brexit. We have a number of challenges. The immediate challenge has been on the currency. The next big challenge that, that companies really need to get their head around is in the event of a Brexit, what the customs and tariffs may be. So if there isn't a free trade agreement um, that exactly resembles the, um, the arrangement that the UK has at the moment, and, it, and, and there won't be, that's going to increase the cost of doing business. It's a well-known fact that Britain is not self-sufficient in food. Um, and there's this great fear of a cheap food policy after Brexit and that the UK will go all around the world doing these trade deals with Mercosur or um, Brazil, Australia, New Zealand. But there is also an issue of food security for a lot of other countries in the world, namely China. So there will be this race for food security um, that's currently on at the moment that will increase in a post-Brexit world. And what we've been saying to the British government is that they need to realise that Ireland can continue to be the breadbasket for the UK. We need to remain close as two countries, particularly in the area of food and drink, because we can continue to provide security for, for food into the UK. So for the Sunday Business Post to pull something like this together is really good. To get the names that you have here speaking is really good and to keep people up to speed with the latest developments. So if I was to describe today's event in, in three words, I'd say that it's up to date. And I think it's also giving people a sense of where opportunities might lie in a post-Brexit world. I think those are the kind of three things that I would say. So up to date, key speakers and opportunity knocks.